Viewers, it's nearly been a month into the Israel-Hamas war. With this, Israel has announced the complete encirclement of Gaza City as it intensifies its ground offensive. The fears of a war spillover are also fast becoming a reality as tensions are escalating on other fronts as well. In the latest, Israel has announced the encirclement of Gaza's main city. The city in the north of Gaza Strip has been the focus of Israeli attacks as part of a ground offensive that vows to annihilate Hamas militant group. Now, Israel's military chief had said on Thursday that Israeli soldiers have been operating in Gaza City for the past few days and encircling it from several directions. Israel Defense Forces released several videos in the last 24 hours that show their combat activity in Gaza. The IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, reported that over 130 terrorists have been thwarted in the past 24 hours. Of course, that's a quote from the Israeli Defense Forces. And they've also said that the troops struck terrorist infrastructure and destroyed large numbers of weapons. Hamas militants are referred to as terrorists by the Israeli Defense Forces. Now, the army says that concept of a ceasefire is not currently on the table at all. As Israel encircles Gaza City, Hamas military wing has threatened in an audio address that Gaza would be a curse for Israel and has warned that its invading soldiers would go home, quote-unquote, in black bags. Meanwhile, a major escalation took place at Israel's northern front with Lebanon. Lebanon-based militant group Hezbollah, which is backed by Iran, said that it attacked 19 Israeli positions along the border simultaneously on Thursday. While the military wing of Hamas also said that it fired 12 rockets from Lebanon towards the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shimona. Now, these visuals on your screens that you will see next are from the northern Israeli town and show the scope of the destruction. <laughs> So while Israel enters Gaza, it is also facing heat from all fronts, from Gaza Strip, from Hamas, from the north, from Hezbollah and Yemen, which is and the Houthi rebels from Yemen, which are also attacking from the city. Now, IDF has also released a footage that shows it striking targets in southern Lebanon from its side in retaliation to the militant fire. The military said warplanes and helicopters attacked targets belonging to the Hezbollah, including military headquarters, rocket launching positions and munitions warehouses. Now, the latest escalation on the border comes ahead of a scheduled speech of Hezbollah chief, which is expected to take place later today. Now, meanwhile, a U.S. national security spokesperson says that there is no indication Hezbollah is ready to go in full force. And as per reports, U.S. has also said that it has intelligence showing Russia's Wagner Group may send air defense system to Hezbollah. The system in question is the SA-22, which uses anti-aircraft missiles and air defense guns to intercept aircraft. Washington has not confirmed that the system has been sent, but it is monitoring discussions involving Wagner and Hezbollah as per officials. Meanwhile, in Gaza... Israeli strikes hit another refugee camp. At least 15 people have been reportedly killed after an Israeli strike hit a residential building in the Burej refugee camp in central Gaza. The visuals on your screen aptly depict the destruction which has taken place after the Israeli strikes and it also shows how densely populated the area is. Hamas has also released a video on its side that claims to show an attack on an Israeli tank in Gaza. Now, this is footage taken from a body cam of one of the Hamas militants. And you can see he runs towards the tank, places the explosive on the tank and then runs back to take cover. The video shows the man creeping up to the side of the tank and placing an apparent explosive device on it and then running right back. Meanwhile, clashes have also erupted in the West Bank since the war began. Videos have emerged showing latest events of violence. 
Two Palestinians are reported killed from the Israeli airstrikes in the city of Jenin. The visuals on your screen now are reportedly of the Israeli airstrikes. However, Vion cannot individually verify the footage as of now. These are the claims. Now, in other updates, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has departed for his third visit to Israel since the war began. He will also visit Jordan in his fresh West Asia tour. Viewers, you can take note here that this time his West Asia tour only includes Israel and Jordan, which is much shorter than his previous West Asia tour when the war just began. Blinken said he will discuss in Israel concrete steps that should be taken to minimize harm to Gaza civilians. And he added that discussions will also focus on the future of Gaza when future of Gaza and Hamas when Hamas is defeated and also ways to ensure the conflict does not spread. All this while U.S. has made their stance clear that a ceasefire is not what they suggest.